Following the successful continuation of efforts to strengthen youth justice initiatives, stakeholders have reconvened for a pivotal follow-up workshop under the opportunity to advance and support youth for success OASIS project. The workshop, held on February 13, 2024, aimed to address crucial aspects of diversion, rehabilitation and reintegration programming, building on discussions initiated during the January session. Highlighting the significance of comprehensive programming, Brenda Wilson, OASIS National Coordinator, emphasized the need for tailored interventions that address the diverse needs of both genders within the youth justice sector. It is important that in sentencing, in diverting, in um, doing pre-diversion activities, in doing prevention, we are in a position to be able to have the types of programming that addresses the needs of both boys and girls, men and women, in the youth justice sector. Attended by officials of key agencies including the police, probations, the courts, the boys' training center, welfare and human services, and the transit home, among others, the workshop focused on discussions aimed at evaluating the effectiveness of existing programs, identifying areas for improvement, and exploring innovative interventions to expand support options for young people facing conflict with the law. Bernice Francis, Deputy Manager of the New Beginnings Transit Home, emphasized the need for enhanced collaboration among social agencies and the need for a standardized referral system. A lot of the times the agencies look at referral system as the just the intake form or the referral form and there is no follow through or there is no monitoring or evaluation of how the client has met the resources and what is the outcome for that client. Dr. Stephen King of the non-profit agency Rye St. Lucia underscored the collective responsibility of society in nurturing the development of young individuals. The bottom line is that there's a need for us as a society to understand that we are all involved in this process and we must all commit to developing the institutions that support our children and their development such that we can have the type of healthy development that we all desire. Discussions during the workshop emphasized the urgent need for improved coordination among agencies and the importance of holistic support frameworks that encompass monitoring, evaluation, and follow-up procedures. Participants reaffirmed their commitment to collaborative efforts aimed at effecting positive change within the youth justice system. The OASIS project, funded by USAID, and overseen by the OECS Commission, remains dedicated to fostering transformative initiatives that promote the well-being and rehabilitation of young individuals involved in the justice system.